everybody, Dana Sparks, broker with Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors. Today's session is going to be on using forms in FMLS. I still get lots of questions on how to find certain forms in uh, FMLS for the contract forms and how to use some of the already pre-written special stipulations. So you're going to log into FMLS, you're going to go to Forms Pro, Then if you already have clients there, they'll show up, and I'm just going to go to Quick Print. And then what you're going to get is you can click the Search button. So if you click on Search and you're not exactly sure of the name of a document that you're looking for, for example, let's say you're looking for a temporary occupancy agreement, um, you can just type in OCC for occupancy and click on the button that says Contains. Then you will find all the forms if you have both the GAR contract forms package and the RE forms package. You'll have access to all of the forms there. And you'll find all of the forms that have OCC in part of their name. For example, F-139 is the GAR contract form, temporary occupancy agreement for buyer prior to closing exhibit. You have F-140 the temporary occupancy agreement for the seller after closing exhibit. Then you have the RE forms packages that has that included. RE 255, occupancy agreement for the seller after closing exhibit. RE 256, occupancy agreement for the buyer prior to closing exhibit. And RE 616, seller's right to occupy existing structures after closing exhibit. Another one that I often get asked is, um, the referral agreement, because as you know, per license law, when you are sending a broker-to-broker -broker referral, not only do you send that broker-to-broker -broker referral agreement to get paid, but you also must get the permission of the person being referred that it is okay that you get paid and that you are sharing their contact information. So when sending a referral, there are two forms that you have to get signed. If you are not exactly sure where to find these forms, you just go into the search button and you can put in REF or REFR, click Contains. You want to be as broad as possible to get all of the forms that are going to contain anything including, uh, you know, that refer, referral, um, and there we have it. So you've got the CO10 in the GAR package referral agreement. That's your broker-to-broker -broker referral form. You have the CO11 in the GAR forms package, which is the referral authorization. Then for Maximum One, we have that broker-to-broker -broker referral form and authorization in there for you. Um, that is one form that is the broker-to-broker -broker referral and contains the place for the person being referred to sign to comply with license law. And then you have the RE forms package, the broker agreement to pay referral commission and prospects acknowledgement and consent to refer. So again, make sure not only can you use this browse button right here to access your GAR forms package, your RE forms package, any maximum one forms and this FMLS admin forms, that is for your 116, your 110, 117, and 118. So there's that button, but the search button will help you find forms if you are not exactly sure of their name. Now, another question that I often get asked is, how do you use the already pre-written special stipulations in your contract? Well, if you are in the GAR forms package, for example, you can either pull up a purchase and sale agreement right here, F20, or a blank special stipulations agreement, which is F21. So let's just pull up a purchase and sale agreement. And then you are going to complete the contract. And then we are going to go to the special stipulations section on page six of their contract. And this little button right here where it says add, if you click that, you get access to any of the GAR or office special stipulations. So we're going to click on this little plus box by the GAR special stipulations, and there you have all the special stipulations available to you that will automatically auto-populate in this section of your GAR contract. 
So for example, let's say you are going to use special stipulation SS302, amendment to address concerns as notice to terminate. You highlight the check button next to the special stipulation you want to use in your contract. You click select and voila, it automatically auto-populates in the special stipulation section of your purchase and sale agreement. So I hope you find those hints helpful as to how to better utilize the forms in FMLS Forms Pro. Thank you for watching. Again, Dana Sparks, broker with Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors, satisfying your needs with service, innovation, and education.